Passion Travail is a chain specializing in everything related to travel, street food, and like subscribe if you like the content. Piadina, this is a popular Italian flatbread, often stuffed with various ingredients like cured meats, cheese, and vegetables. It's a versatile and tasty street food option. Piadina is a traditional Italian flatbread that originated in the Emilia-Romagna region, but it is also popular in San Marino. It is a versatile and delicious street food option that you can find in various stalls and eateries throughout San Marino. Piadina is made from a simple dough consisting of flour, water, salt, and sometimes lard. The dough is rolled out into thin circles and cooked on a hot griddle or flat pan until it becomes lightly golden and slightly crispy. The result is a soft, chewy, and fragrant flatbread. What makes Piadina special is the variety of fillings and ingredients that can be added to it. Common fillings include cured meats like prosciutto or salami, local cheeses such as squacarone or stracchino, and fresh vegetables like arugula or tomatoes. Other possible fillings include spreads like pesto or sun-dried tomato paste, adding even more flavor to the piadina. Piadina is often folded in half or rolled up and served warm, making it an easy-to-eat street food option. It's a delightful combination of flavors and textures, perfect for a quick and satisfying meal on the go while exploring the streets of San Marino. Don't miss the opportunity to try Piadina when visiting San Marino. It's a classic street food that showcases the delicious simplicity of Italian cuisine. Porchetta Sandwich Porchetta is a savory, slow-roasted pork dish that is commonly served in a crusty roll. The juicy and flavorful meat makes it a mouth-watering street food choice. A porchetta sandwich is a delicious Italian-style sandwich made with porchetta, a traditional Italian roast pork dish. Porchetta is made by stuffing a whole pig with a flavorful mixture of herbs, spices, and garlic, then roasting it until the skin is crispy and the meat is tender and juicy. To make a porchetta sandwich, you'll need the following ingredients, porchetta. You can either buy pre-made porchetta from a butcher or make your own by following a porchetta recipe and roasting a pork roast with the appropriate seasonings, Italian bread or rolls. Look for a crusty Italian bread or rolls that will hold up. Well to the juicy porchetta and any additional toppings, sliced cheese, optional some people like to add a slice of cheese to their porchetta sandwich. Popular choices include provolone or mozzarella, but you can use your favorite cheese, toppings, you can customize your porchetta sandwich with various toppings like arugula, sliced tomatoes, pickled onions, roasted peppers, or any other ingredients you enjoy. Condiments Traditional condiments for a porchetta sandwich include mayonnaise, Dijon mustard, or a flavorful aioli. Once you have your ingredients ready, follow these steps to assemble your porchetta sandwich. Slice the Italian bread. Or rolls lengthwise. If desired, spread your preferred condiments on the bottom half of the bread. Place a generous amount of sliced porchetta on the bottom half of the bread, add any additional toppings you like. Such as cheese, arugula, tomatoes, or roasted peppers. Close the sandwich with the top half of the bread. If desired, you can lightly toast the sandwich in a panini press or a hot skillet to warm it up and melt the cheese. Serve your porchetta sandwich warm and enjoy the combination of tender, flavorful porchetta, crusty bread and delicious toppings makes for a mouth-watering sandwich that's perfect for any meal. Gelato, while not technically street food, gelato is a must-try dessert in San Marino. This Italian-style ice cream is available in numerous flavors, and you can enjoy a cone or cup while strolling around the streets. Gelato is a delightful Italian frozen dessert that is similar to ice cream but has a different texture and flavor profile. It is made with milk, sugar, and various flavorings such as fruits, nuts, chocolate, or other ingredients. Gelato is churned at a slower speed than ice cream, resulting in a denser and creamier texture. Here are some key characteristics and facts about gelato. Ingredients Gelato typically contains a higher proportion of milk and a lower proportion of cream compared to ice cream. This contributes to its smoother texture and less fatty taste. Texture Gelato is known for its dense, silky, and creamy consistency. It has less air incorporated during the churning process compared to ice cream. Resulting in a denser texture, flavors, gelato comes in a wide range of flavors, from traditional options like vanilla, chocolate, and strawberry to more exotic choices like pistachio, 
hazelnut, tiramisu, lemon, or fruity variations. Gelaterias, gelato shops, often showcase a variety of flavors to choose from. Serving temperature, gelato is typically served at a slightly higher temperature than ice cream, around 10 to 15 degrees Fahrenheit, minus 12 to minus 9 degrees Celsius. The warmer temperature allows the gelato to be softer and enhances its flavor. Display, gelato is often displayed in round, metal pans inside gelaterias. The pans are filled with colorful gelato flavors, allowing customers to see and choose their favorites. Scooping, gelato is typically served with a spade or a paddle rather than a traditional ice cream scoop. The denser texture of gelato makes it easier to shape and serve with a spade, toppings, while gelato is delicious on its own, you can also enjoy it with various toppings such as fresh fruit, chocolate sauce, whipped cream, nuts, or sprinkles. Arostasini, these are skewers of grilled lamb or mutton, seasoned with herbs and spices. Arostasini are a popular street food item in Italy, and you can find them in San Marino as well. Arostasini are a traditional Italian food originating from the Abruzzo region, specifically from the area of the Apennine Mountains. They are small skewers of tender lamb or mutton, typically cooked over an open flame or grill. Here's some information about arostasini, meat, the traditional meat used for arostasini is lamb, particularly the lean meat from the castrated male sheep called castrato, in Italian. However, you can also find arostasini made with mutton or other meats like pork or beef, skewering, arostasini are made by cutting the meat into small, uniform pieces, approximately 1 cm thick and 4 to 5 cm long. The meat cubes are then skewered on special long. Flat metal skewers called can, which are designed to hold the meat securely in place during grilling, seasoning. The seasoning for arostasini is usually simple, allowing the flavor of the meat to shine. The most common seasoning consists of just salt, although some variations may include additional herbs, such as rosemary or other regional spices. Cooking, arostasini are traditionally cooked over a hot grill or an open flame, typically made from vine shoots. The skewers are placed on the grill, and the meat is cooked until it becomes crispy and slightly charred on the outside, while remaining tender and juicy on the inside. The cooking process is relatively quick due to the small size of the meat cubes. Presentation, arostasini are traditionally served on a wooden board or platter, where the skewers are lined up in a row. They are often accompanied by slices of rustic bread or other traditional Abruzzese side dishes, such as grilled vegetables or a simple salad. Social food, arostasini are often enjoyed in a social setting, such as gatherings with family and friends. They are a popular street food in Abruzzo, and you can find small kiosks or food stalls called rosticeri, specializing in arostasini. Pizza al taglio, pizza by the slice, also known as pizza al taglio is a popular street food option in Italy. You can find various toppings and flavors, making it a quick and satisfying choice. Pizza al taglio, also known as Roman-style pizza or pizza by the slice, is a popular type of pizza in Italy. It is characterized by its rectangular shape and is typically sold by weight or by the slice. The term al taglio means, by the cut, in Italian, referring to how the pizza is portioned and sold. Here are some key features and facts about pizza al taglio, shape and size. Pizza al taglio is usually baked in large rectangular trays or pans. The dough is stretched or rolled out into a thin rectangular shape, resulting in a thicker crust compared to Neapolitan-style pizza. The size of each slice can vary, but it is typically larger than a traditional round pizza slice. Varieties. Pizza al taglio offers a wide range of toppings and flavors. The toppings can be simple, such as classic margarita, tomato sauce, mozzarella, and basil, or more elaborate, including a variety of vegetables, cured meats, cheeses, and even seafood. It's common to find a display of different types of pizza with various toppings to choose from, dough. The dough used for pizza al taglio is typically made with flour, water, yeast, salt, and olive oil. It is often left to rise slowly, resulting in a light and airy texture. The dough is then baked in the rectangular pans until it becomes golden and crispy on the outside, while remaining soft and chewy on the inside. Versatility. 
Pizza Al Taglio is a versatile option because it allows customers to choose the size and variety of slices they want. It is often sold in bakeries, pizzerias, or specialized pizza al taglio shops, where customers can select the desired type of pizza and have it cut and weighed according to their preferences. Convenience, pizza al taglio is a popular choice for a quick and satisfying meal on the go. It is a common street food in Italy, and you can easily find it in many cities and towns. The rectangular shape and pre-portioned slices make it easy to grab a quick snack or a complete meal.